Welcome back. There's a surprising entry in the local list of best-selling videos. It's a history of Plymouth Sound's breakwater. It was built to protect the Navy, which would guarantee the freedom of Britain and its blossoming empire at a time when Napoleon was trampling across Europe. We sent Ron Bendel out to sea. Think of strategic defence. Things to keep England, England, and all those nasty foreigners at bay. The bomb, Polaris, Trident. All effective in their way, but too space age, too modern, too high tech. No. Real strategic defence, and that which once fueled the imagination of a nation, boils down to a lump of concrete plonked into the ocean a mile or two off Plymouth. It's equivalent to when we first of all developed our nuclear deterrent. It's that big. I mean, without it, it's hard to overstate it, really. Without this breakwater, um, Plymouth wouldn't be the premier port it is, and the British Navy, which was then the preeminent navy in the world, wouldn't be now, and it would not have won the war against the French. You see, it was old Boney what done it. Those evil, republican, oily hordes across the channel threatening hearth and home with their garlic-smelling ways, which prompted a massive national drive to give the British Navy a safe and permanent haven. Without sea power, the land battles would have just fizzled out. And so when they started to build this, they realised it would take a long time. Uh, and it was called the Great National Undertaking, and it was uh, such a big undertaking for the time that there was virtually nothing to compare it with. And today, you'd, you'd really have to sort of look at the moonshots and the space stations and roll them all up. It was that big a project. The seaward side of that mile-long barrier, a reminder of how tough the elements it deflects can be. 100 tonne concrete slabs which can be hurled by waves right across the seeming redoubt against Neptune and his storms. This stuff gets flung over the top because we seem to be getting worse and worse storms. And now they use these huge 100 tonne blocks which they um, date stamp so that the engineers can see where the blocks are. And quite often, um, when we have very severe winter storms, there will be one or two on the inside that should have been on the outside, and for a hundred tons, that's some going. Thirty years it took to build. Thousands of tons of granite dovetailed against the wind. Forgotten engineers and workers whose legacy will live forever. For Plymouth, for the Navy, for England. 